Uh, Tim, I guess there's probably only one place we can start. In fact, the last <coughs> two games were, were called off due to a COVID incident at the club. Uh, back in training now, just give me thoughts on the whole situation, really. Yeah, the, um, obviously we had uh, the positive uh, test, which um, you know, clearly with the rules we had to, to inform the league as quickly as we could. Uh, and quite rightly, you know, I mean, it's a dangerous dangerous uh, disease so we've got to be very careful so straight away we uh, you know cleaned out the building everyone had to isolate and stay away uh, <laughs> over Christmas as well um, so yeah I mean obviously by league rules we were allowed to come back in and train fully today so that, that's what we've done um, obviously we had to monitor that are you detraining you know obviously lads having days off over Christmas you don't know what they're doing <laughs> So uh, you know we've had a we've had a, a good session today, hour and forty. Um, they did some good work with Gary Anderson for about forty-five minutes without the ball. So you know that that would have opened their pipes up. Um, and then they came across to us and did some football work on the on the top here. So uh, they got through it fine, and uh, it's nice to get back on the grass and, and work again. Um, and then we'll work steadily this week. We're in every day this week um, towards the Bournemouth game on Saturday. Gary's <coughs> obviously come in and that seems to be a huge boost for not just the professionalism for the club but what you're trying to implement just how big of a coup is that for the club yeah 100 percent. i think i touched on it with you before i mean we you know it, it was loose in that aspect very loose you know fitness is obviously is a key element of football um and if you have got a group of lads who are you know playing at their peak, their optimum fitness levels, then that's going to only all go well for the club. We, um, listen, I think when you look back over the DVDs at times, maybe we have been guilty of dying a death a little bit late on, um, you know, and that can be for a number of reasons, but uh, clearly to have somebody as qualified as Gary in that department to head it up um, it is a major coup for us. I mean, he's on it in terms of, uh, obviously we've got the, the GPS up and running now. Um, we needed some software for that, which we've got. <clears throat> so, as from today's training session, which was the first day with the, with the GPS on, we'll we'll know absolutely exactly what's happened uh, by about half two this afternoon. That'll be downloaded, so we'll know what kind of work rate we got out there, uh, on by whom, and who needs more, and who who's you know pushing and punching at the top of their weight, if you like. So, it's brilliant to know that. It's probably actually more useful in training than it is in games to a certain extent, but uh, you know, so that, that's terrific. And not just that, I mean, everything to do with the COVID uh, situation that we had, you know, he's on that. He, he was, you know, uh, in, in touch with the, with the National League and uh, let them know and we've got, got the forms out and uh, he's on top of it. So that is, it's, it's brilliant to have that organisation and structure underneath, you know, below that training out there. You know, I think the lads appreciate that and uh, they, so should they as well. With everything, with your transition into the club, can we get an update on, on the injury situation? I know that there's quite a few of them at the moment. Yeah, yeah there is. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, Wes, um, Wes's season's done. Um, he's got an ACL, uh, of which we seem to have one or two. Um, so unfortunately for us, um, that, that will be the end for him this year, or this season, should I say. So uh, we'll be monitoring him and, and, and making sure he gets the best care that we can possibly give him. Um, Mac Burney, I was very close to training fully today. Wasn't quite there, but he will be this week. Um, I'm expecting him back in amongst the group. Certainly Thursday time, I think, is what I'm being told. So that'll be an extra body midfield-wise that we can um, start to have a look at. Um, young Patrasso is is coming along um, I've had a couple of chats with him he says he's feeling okay um, feeling better uh, he's not there yet he'll be uh, I would say between a week and two weeks away hopefully we can get him back in, involved with the boys um, obviously we've got the long terms Richards he's, he's out as well with an ACL we won't see him this season um, just trying to think that's Matty Preston Matty of course yeah Matty's no he's more weeks away than imminent so um, Matty's one that I'm not sort of holding my breath in terms of seeing for the next certainly three weeks I think um, so again you know in that centre half position 
it's the one that we, you know, whether we play a three at the back or what, um, you know, we're a little bit light in there with, with his injury. Certainly right foot. We've got a lot of left footers uh, and not so many right footers. Uh, obviously, we've got the suspensions as well with Wordsworth and Fox uh, still working through their suspension. So we are a little bit not so much down on numbers for training because they're, they're, they're all training, but certainly down on numbers for selection, you know, for matches. In, with that being the case with the injury, particularly the longer term ones, is there going to be any scope to get a couple in, do you think? Well, I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, in discussions with um, the chairman. Um, we do need some fresh blood, there's no doubt about that. We've, uh, we're looking to get some in, you know, just to, to, to bolster the group and, and put some more competition for places. But, you know, the, We've also got to be careful because you can you can sit here and panic because you sort of pick the league table up um, and have a look at it and it, it isn't great reading, you know. Um, so we do, although time is of the essence, we have also got to make sure that we don't start jumping at you know uh, at everything left, right, and centre. We've got to make sure we get the right type in, the right player, but the right character as well. You know, this is a as we said before, it's an unforgiving division, and if you end up for the fight uh, and it is a scrap, then you're probably not going to be made for this division. So we need to get some physicality um, and some energy and, and some fresh blood into the building. And we're working as hard as we possibly can to do that. So, yeah, I mean, let's hope that uh, in the coming days we, we may be able to announce one or two things.